So my name is Miranda Maureen. I am an author, spoken word artist, and educator. I recently published my first book in yes. July. It's called Read Me. Um, last summer I was on tour, touring around New York City venues. Um, it's been a real exciting time. I'm gonna do three pieces, is that all right? Yes! All right. This first one is called For Martin Luther. Today watching BET won't better ease tensions. If anything, BET is the reason and the lesson Martin Luther is still dreaming. If you woke up today believing that a day off from school and or work would be enough to mask the past decades of pain would hurt, you didn't deserve to wake. You could have kept on sleeping while the rest of us keeping hope alive could have functioned, could have thrived without you. Dear Martin Luther, we've gone through. We've overcome just as you did insist. But the struggle is more potent now. The internal struggle still exists. And the caveat is this, it's internal. Paternal fathers creating bastards, teen mothers multiplying faster, literally. Blackface on TV figuratively, but seriously, isn't there something a bit strange about these sitcoms and these shows? Everyone knows the answers, but no one really knows the questions. No one really sees the oppression despite our brown man in office, and all this wasn't in the dream. Martin Luther's day is the only thing in between injustice and pure apathy. The day before before everything is happening, the day of, we're happily regurgitating quotes on empty stomachs for social networks. The day after, Dr. King's best work goes back to being empty threats. I bet where he rests, he regrets dreaming in the first place. I bet he lays with a straight face and a heart turned to stone. 